Good morning, Spires Point Middle School. Today is Tuesday, and it, today is Tuesday, January third. And it, or wait, what? Sorry, it doesn't say the date. January third. Sorry, January third, and it's a B day. My name is Bella. And my name is Kai. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. May be seated. The weather today is 49 degrees and rainy. Today's lunch: pizza, cheese or pepperoni, chicken, bacon, ranch sandwich, cheesesteak sub, code Jack box, sweet baked beans, gold rush juice, seasoned potato wedges, and mandarin oranges. Running club is tomorrow. Make sure to bring appropriate clothing to run outside. And now a message from Miss Washington. Good morning, Sparrows Point, and welcome back. Welcome back to this fabulous beginning to the 2017 uh, school year. Uh, if you haven't noticed, or just in case uh, you have thought about this, we are halfway through the academic year. That's right, we are almost halfway through at this point uh, to the academic uh, to the end of our academic year. So I want to make sure my name is misspelled on my um, ticker, but I know they're going to work that out for me. It's Tuesday. We all have enjoyed being out for a week or so. And so it's going to take us all some time to kind of get back into the swing of things. So again, I want to welcome all of our students back, all of our staff members back, all of our administration team back. I want to welcome everyone back into this beautiful day. Although it's a little gloomy outside, I'm sure that all of our students are focused and ready to learn. I don't have a whole lot to say. Again, I just want to, as, we, as I know, sometimes when we have a break, we forget about all of those things that you, know, you heard me say time and time again. So I will start it off by just giving you a couple of reminders. Uh, students, I do need your help. I need you to walk to the right. I do need your assistance. I do need you to walk to the right at all times. Also, I want to take a minute to talk about headgear. Students, when you enter the building, if you have on a hoodie, if you have on a hat, if you have on earmuffs, reindeer antlers, whatever it is, I need you to take it off because all of those things must be off before you head upstairs. So, you know, if you make it up, if you make it in the building with it on, you caught a break. However, when you come upstairs, I do need those items off. I will also quickly go over, because I know many of you came back from break, you may have a new iPhone 7. I'm jealous if you do. However, I need you to have all cell phones off and out of sight. That means no selfies, you're not taking pictures in the classroom, you're not texting anyone. Again, students, I do need your help. I need all cell phones off and out of sight. Now, I'm going over this because I know that when we come back from a break, sometimes we forget. You didn't know today was a B-Day. Perfect. You didn't know today was Tuesday. No problem. You didn't know you attended Sparrows Point Middle. Awesome. I've answered all of those questions for you. Today is, in fact, a B-Day. Today is Tuesday. And again, I need all cell phones out of sight. I'm hoping that all of our staff and students, you got some rest over the break. You got to enjoy um, some good TV. Maybe you binged watch something on TV. Maybe you read a book. I finished The Compound yesterday, OMG. So again, I have turned it in this morning. If you have not read that book, please make sure you pick it up if it's still on the shelves because I understand that book, it goes off the shelves pretty fast. So I turned it in today. Please, if you have read The Compound, let's do a book talk because that book was awesome. I do, before I close out, I want to share a couple of, well, this one thing with you, 10 things that require zero talent. There are 10 things that require zero talent. The first, being on time. The second, having a good work ethic. The third, putting forth effort. Four, body language, whether it's positive or negative. And for middle schoolers, it's all about the body language. Number five, energy. Number six, attitude. Number seven, passion. Number eight, being coachable. Meaning, are you receptive to feedback? 
that can go for students and for our staff as well. Number nine, doing extra. And the last thing, being prepared. Again, you may say, Ms. Washington, those things require talent. They don't. This is something that all of us students and staff, there are 10 things that we all can do that require zero talent. So as I also did some thinking over the break, I reflected on some things for myself. So I wanted to share this with you. Just as we start off um, the 2017 uh, rest of the school year, I wanted to kind of hit you with some knowledge, if you will. So at this point, I am going to turn it back over to the fabulous news crew. Before I do, students, please make it a good day or not, great day or not. The choice is totally up to you. Either way, students, I am going to love you regardless. Before I move it over, I do want to share something quickly with students. Today is the first day back. You all should know that by now. If we have any drama, today is the first day back. So that means the drama was happening last week. So it's a new, a new day here at Sparrows Point. So today is the start of a new day. So if you have drama and you're bringing the drama upstairs, we're going to talk because today is a new day. Now over to our fabulous news crew. Thank you. On January 12th, wear blue for our annual team BCPS day. Lit Club is meeting in the library on Friday until 3.20. And now for the word of the week. This week's word begins with the letter A and means moving quickly and easily. Find the word on a Beyond the Word wall poster and then find Principal Washington or Miss Bonning during the change of classes. Use the word in a sentence that shows you know the meaning and get a prize. And now the quote of the day. One of the secrets of life is that all that is what really worth the doing is what we do for others. Lewis Carroll. Thanks for watching. I'm Bella. And I'm Kai. Remember to pride in all that you do.